Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. I am very excited to bring you another review of a product, and it's a new product from Benefit. It's their Bad Gal Bang Mascara. So I bought the mini version because I wasn't ready to commit to the full size, and I want to test it out with you guys and see if it's really worth it and see if it's really the best new mascara. There's definitely a lot of positive and negative reviews out there. I wanted to find out for myself if it's really worth it because I'm a drugstore mascara kind of girl. I absolutely love lashes and mascara, so I definitely need to find out if this is worth the money, and I'm very excited to give you a review and wear test of this product. So if you want to see that, just keep on watching because the review is coming right up. And if you end up liking this video, don't forget to hit that like button. It helps me out so much getting my videos out to other people as well. If you want to subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it. And if you hit that bell icon, you'll get notifications whenever I post as well. Without further ado, let's get right into this review. So getting into the review of this product, I bought a mini size because I wasn't ready to commit to the full size. The Bad Gal Bang Mascara is new from Benefit. It recently launched. They took a bunch of influencers on a brand trip, I believe somewhere in Arizona, that's what it looked like, just for this launch. So they definitely took this very seriously. Anyway, this mascara, this size here, is retailing for $17 at Sephora. You could have got it free. I believe there's a, a code if you're ordering online from Sephora to get a sample for free if you're interested you could do that. The full size is retailing for $32 Canadian, definitely a little bit more of a pricey mascara. So what this mascara is supposed to do, it's supposed to be a 36 hour volumizing mascara that's supposed to create massive volume without weighing the lashes down. So they have these aero particles which are used in astronaut spacesuits. It's one of the lightest known materials, it says. And so it's supposed to give you really big impact lashes without weighing them down. And so they're supposed to really perk up. It also says it's supposed to work for 36 hours, which is kind of crazy because who's wearing their mascara for that long? I'm feeling crazy, so I think I might do a wear test where I'm going to actually go to sleep in this and we'll see how it does in the morning. Just so you know, this is supposed to be smudge proof and flake free and also water resistant. Not waterproof, but water resistant, so that's good to know. The packaging is cool it has like studs and I like the matte black it's nice the wand itself is kind of like a triangle shape and then it has it's like a silicone ish brush which is kind of like the their real mascara from benefit which I also like they did an instrumental test on 21 women and the mascara lasted for 36 hours 21 women isn't that much so I'll be the 22nd woman and we will try to see if this actually lasts for as long as it says it does. All right, so let's go in and apply this mascara. So I've obviously applied the rest of my makeup. I did a super simple eye look because I wanted to really see how the mascara works. And sometimes when you do a dramatic shadow, the lashes kind of get lost in it. Basically, I only used my bronzer just in the crease and then under the eye. And then just used a little bit of setting powder under the eye and a little bit on top as well because I didn't want any greasy lids kind of affecting the wear of this. So I will show you what my lashes look like before with a nice little picture right here. And I don't have terribly, terribly sparse lashes, but they are a little short. So what I'm gonna do is curl my lashes because I wanna give this a really fair shot. So I got my MAC Lash Curler right here and I'm just gonna curl my lashes. I don't normally curl my lashes, only like on special occasions or when I'm taking the time to like really go all out because I'm just lazy. I think that's good. I'm not gonna go crazy with it because I just, I'm always afraid that one day I'm just gonna take off the lash curler and my eyelashes are gonna be attached to it. I don't know, just me. Irrational fears. Let's apply. I've already applied a little bit, so ignore that part, but whoa. That's just like a couple strokes and I don't know if you can see it on camera, but that definitely is making them quite voluminous and quite long. I'm kind of surprised at the length and they are pointing like straight up. Going to the other eye now. I can definitely see how this could clump up very easily. If you're not careful, you really need to brush through your lashes with the wand because if you don't, you are gonna get clumpy. Like on the ends of my lashes, I find it hard to um, go through and it's getting a tad clumpy on the outside, but it's definitely lengthening and volumizing like super quickly. Normally, I would say this look that I'm getting right now, I would usually put on a couple layers of mascara. So this is actually quite impressive. Okay, so I'm getting like a random clump in the middle of my lashes there, but I will fix it after it dries a bit. Going back in with a second layer on this one. Okay. 
it's okay it's building up you really get what you get on the first go i don't think it really builds up too much more than that let me go back to the other side and do the second coat on this eye again I think that's as good as we're gonna get without getting too clumpy. As you can see, definitely got some serious volume there. And they are very pointy, like very up. <laughs> I like it. I don't mind a spidery lash. It's not too wet of a formula where it gets everywhere, so that's good. So far, so good. Let's do the bottom lashes. Okay, so bottom lashes are definitely a little bit scary when you are doing your makeup because it, they tend to get everywhere, and mine definitely are like kind of short and straight and it's hard to get them without getting everywhere. So let's see how this wand goes. That's pretty nice, actually. I don't think my lower lashes have ever looked this long. I've been looking for a lower lash mascara for forever, and like people think I'm weird, but I would pay for a mascara that works really well for the lower lash as a separate thing because I like my options for top lashes, but lower lashes are another story like it's definitely a little clumpy but it adds a lot of length as well which i didn't really expect i thought it was going to be mainly volume spidery length but it's length and i'll take any kind of length i actually didn't get it everywhere which is actually kind of surprising so coming in nice and close guys this is the final mascara look here very voluminous a touch clumpy like if i went in with a third layer i know for a fact it would be super clumpy however i don't mind a little bit of clump because it just gives you a little bit more volume and yes they look a little spidery as well but i don't mind it when you're just using mascara you want that drama sometimes and this is definitely a mascara that's going to give you some drama if you're a girl that likes natural looking lashes then maybe this isn't for you and it does have a tendency to get a little bit clumpy and i'm worried that the formula after a couple weeks might get really clumpy because it's going to thicken up and dry out a little bit so that definitely is a concern however if this wears well i think this will be a nice mascara for whenever you want a little bit more pop all right, so I'm gonna start this wear test and see how this goes. Time right now is 6.45 p.m. because I'm a crazy person. I'm gonna sleep in it and we will do the last check-in at around 12 noon, so it'll give us about 18 hours of wear. I'll come back if anything changes, but otherwise I'll be back in a couple hours to give you a check-in. Hey guys, so the time is 11.42 here. I've been wearing this mascara for about five hours. I don't know if you guys can see from there, but it has transferred under the eye. This is supposed to be smudge proof and flake free and water resistant and I really didn't do anything. I ate, I watched TV, and I edited my video. So I literally didn't do any strenuous activity. I didn't run around. I'm still wearing my makeup, but it seems to have transferred under my eye. Yeah, I'm really sad that it did because I really thought this could be a great lower lash mascara, but it really can be a lower lash mascara if it transfers because who wants that? The upper lid looks fine. It doesn't look like it transferred anywhere. But I will say also the lashes don't look as curled as they did before. When I first applied it, it really held the curl and they were definitely straight up. They definitely have like fallen slowly and they look a lot more straight. So that's also sad. I do like the drama that it gives. I don't think this is my lower lash holy grail. However, I could probably layer a waterproof formula maybe over top of it, maybe to like seal in the formula, but I don't know if that'll work too well. It always sounds good in theory, but then might not pan out as well as I think it will. I think I'm gonna have to cut this wear test short. I don't think it's worth sleeping in overnight if it's already transferred and I really didn't do anything like nothing so guys that's my review of the bad gal bang mascara from benefit i don't think it is something revolutionary but i do like the formula for its volumizing and lengthening properties it does provide that wow factor that drama some might interpret it as clumping and spidery lashes so it's really just a matter of opinion i don't mind it i think it looks quite good on the top lashes and it looks great on the bottom lashes it did transfer though and i didn't do diddly squat 
I'm not mad that I purchased the mascara. I'm glad I bought the mini size instead of the full size because I'd be more mad at myself if I bought the full size and I didn't like it. I can definitely use it for my top lashes and on occasions when I'm going out. Like I said before, I might layer it with something that's waterproof over top of this mascara so then maybe it will seal it in because I really do like the length that it does give the lower lashes. If they do make a waterproof formula of this um, Bad Gal Bang mascara, then I think I might be interested in it for lower lashes. Hope you guys know that I am definitely just giving you my honest opinion. I have not done any sponsored posts. I am not sponsored a scent PR, anything like that yet. So this is totally my honest opinion. I was not taken on that brand trip to Utah or the Maldives. So clearly I have no stakes in the game here. I'm just someone who really loves makeup and I absolutely love mascara. So I just wanted to review this mascara for you guys so that you could see an honest and completely transparent review on it. So hopefully I did that for you. If you did end up liking the video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you end up liking me, then please hit that subscribe button because I am trying to grow this channel. That's pretty much it for me. I hope you have an amazing day or night wherever you are. And I hope I see you very, very soon in my next video.